तो मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पैथोफिजियोलॉजी इज सप्लाई डिमांड मिसमैच दैट इज डिक्रीज ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई नो लिमिटिंग स्टेनोसिस एनीमिया प्लेक रप्चर क्लॉट इंक्रीज ऑक्सीजन डिमांड दैट इज सप्लाई लो सप्लाई एंड इंक्रीज डिमांड व्हिच कजेस इस्थेमिया लीड टू एंजाइना देन माइकोडल नेक्रोसिस माइकोडल so you now you can clearly understand what is acute coronary syndrome basically from the history from the clinical examination from the ecg from the enzymes and the path pathology mechanism so in unstable angina and non stable the non occlusive thrombo most important character non specific ecg normal cardiac enzymes then it is unstable angina ST depression or T wave inversion in CCG with elevated cardiac enzymes and non-calcium occlusive thrombus sufficient to cause reduced damage and mild macular damage. This is non-STEMI. So just again same thing I am repeating. Only STEMI there is complete occlusion, necrosis, ST elevation, increased anti-enzymes, more severe symptoms, and rest two are less symptomatic, non-occlusive thrombus. Enzymes positive is non-STEMI. Enzymes negative is unstable. So, if it's risk factor, there is different depends on type one, type two, type three risk factors. Or uh, you have modifiable risk factor, you have non-modifiable risk factors. If you see age, and if you see the sex, and family history, then it's non-modifiable. Otherwise, like diabetes, hypertension, smoking. It is modifiable risk factor. Obese, dyslipidemia, increased LDL. Then other novel atherosclerotic risk factor like small lipoprotein A and homocysteine. There is increased HSCRP and some uh, one powerful uh, factors. Many others which are having these are novel atherosclerotic risk factor. So how you will diagnose acute coronary syndrome? So at least two of the following history that is angina or angina equivalents, acute ischemic C changes, typical rise and fall of cardiac markers, absence of another identifiable etiology. So diagnosis require a rise and or fall in serum level of cardiac markers, preferably troponin together with others like. By patient history or ECG or imaging evidence of new RWMA. But ECG changes, new STD web changes, new left bundle branch block, or evolving pathological web MI. So now you can see, I will show some ECG acute ST elevation in enteral and Let's you can see B two, B three, B four, B five, B six, and also there is one and the extensive interval stem. This you can see there was we got the J point elevation, ST elevation. You can see the J point ST elevation. You can see the ST elevation in J point, and here there is no ST elevation in normal. What is serum cardiac markers? That is, which is the ideal marker? That is, which is in high concentration in myocardium. Myocardium specific released early in injury, proportionate to injury, and non-expensive testing also. And out of three, like CKMB, myoglobin, troponin, I think this is the most important is troponin. Powerful of stratification, greater sensitivity and specificity than CKMB. Detection of patient MI after two weeks after onset, useful of selection therapy detection of. It.